if you're planning on uh, building your system, there's a few things that you're going to, few items or pieces that you're going to need to know how to use and also how to install, um, you know, in order to make your grow beds uh, flood and drain, if that's the kind of system that you're going to build. One of those things that you're going to need to know about is called a bulkhead fitting. I've got a, an example of a grow bed, not a really great example. This is a hydroponic uh, piece of equipment and these really aren't the best to use for grow beds although the dimensions are not bad and the depth is okay um, really you want something more sturdy this one here when I filled it up with water and rock um, would start to expand out um, I've used this for a previous system and I had to support the sides so that it didn't bow out when it filled up um, so really there's some better options out there uh, that have a little better support uh, than something like this but what you still are going to need to do, whether it's a uh, uh, grow bed or, or tank constructed out of wood or out of plastic like this, you're going to need to be able to uh, create a hole through uh, either the side or the bottom. The side, maybe if you're uh, wanting to come in uh, through the side um, without coming over the top, it's a lot nicer way to make your system look so you don't see all the plumbing sticking out everywhere. Um, then you would want to use a bulkhead fitting and what that'll do, what a bulkhead fitting does is enable you to come through the surface and still keep a watertight seal. Uh, I have in my hand a bulkhead fitting and you can see on here on the top uh, that it comes down uh, and then there's a nut that goes on the bottom and what this will do is tighten up all the way and make a watertight seal. Uh, this one's missing the, uh, the little seal, rubber seal that goes there. Um, but I've got one installed on this grow bed. Shadowing is pretty bad here, so I'm going to zoom in. Um, this is a former bed that I used, uh, and you can see how this bulkhead goes through, makes a watertight seal. Okay, so again, we have this bulkhead fitting, and I'm just going to show you real quick how to install this. Um, the first thing you want to do within your grow bed is figure out where, either on the side or on the bottom, if you're going to make a drain want that to go and so again this is a, a, a grow bed that I used before on a previous system that I've taken apart um, and so I had a hole drilled there uh, this here in my hand is a one inch um, double threaded um, bulkhead fitting and so what that means is that there's threads on both sides of this they make uh, um, slipped uh, bulkheads as well um, I've used both. Uh, I prefer the threaded, uh, even though you have to buy some extra plumbing. It just things seem to go a little, go together a little bit better. And definitely, you're going to create a, a better seal. Which, with a drain, it's not going to be having water flow through it. If you're if you're bringing a hole in where you're actually going to be pumping water into a grow bed, or pumping water out of a tank, you're going to want to use a, a a threaded bulkheads because it's going to create a lot tighter seal. So real quick, this is how you install this. Um, First thing I'm going to do is uh, take this apart, um, and then this is the part that's going to stick down uh, into the hole. So this hole is really tight, so I actually had to thread it in. Um, but if you drill the one and one and three quarter hole, you know it should just slide right in. I like a tight fit, but uh, either way it works fine. So you've got the the seal under there. Kind of hard to see if you can see the seal or not. Um, it's there, so that's going to create a watertight seal at the bottom. I'm going to push that all the way through till it's flat, and then turn this up. Sorry, the video is a little jumpy. See if I can. So that you can see that that's sticking. Then I'm going to take this nut and uh, come up. Put that on from the bottom. Now, when you tighten this down, you don't necessarily have to use, uh, you know, plumbing tools. This is all plastic parts, and so you should be able to tighten it by hand, and that'd be plenty tight. You can see right now that uh, both when I'm doing this, it's spinning. So sometimes you may have to hold the inside to get it tightened up. Um, you're going to tighten that all the way on, make sure it gets a nice tight seal, then you can water test it uh, just to make sure it's sealed. Um, I have had to use plumbing tools when I've taken a, uh, um, a bulkhead fitting like this, same depth and everything, and, and gone through wood. 
So there, that's installed. See it again, the way that it looks there. Goes right through, you can see through to the bottom. And that'll make us a nice uh, pass through for the drain.